Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Monday assembly. Uh, you can see I've now finally changed out of my Harry Potter gear and uh, it's the next day now. I'm recording this on Friday. But in today's assembly, we're going to have our shout out box and we are also going to be having our team point. So that will come out a little bit later on in the assembly. But first of all, I'm going to light the candle today. Um, the candle can often be seen as a symbol of peace because we can sit and watch a candle in. Let's just move it down so you can just see the candle a little bit here. Because a candle can, can be used um, to something to watch and to sit and to think in a very peaceful way. And I think that's uh, a really important thing sometimes for us to think about. And our assembly today is all about peace. I want you to think about what peace means to you. Um, I'm sure all of you can think of different wars, different conflicts that have happened in the world at different times. Um, some that are going on at the moment as well, such as in uh, Myanmar at the moment, in Yemen, uh, all sorts of things that are going on around the world at different times. Now, um, conflicts have happened all the way through human history. And really, they are just an extension of something that happens to us all at different times, which is getting into an argument with someone. And what we need to do, what we need to learn when we get into an argument with other people is how we can resolve that. What can we do to make the peace again? Um, and I think that's a really important thing for us to think about. And I want you to think about it throughout today's assembly. What can you do when you get in an argument with other people to make peace um, in that situation. Now, there are a few descriptions of the word peace um, that you might have heard of. So some people say peace is uh, freedom from war. OK, so if you went by that description in the UK at the moment, you'd say we were at peace because we don't have war. Um, but maybe you think freedom from disputes, um, that's sort of like um, arguments and things like that. Uh, maybe freedom from worry and anxiety, perhaps a peace of mind or quietness, silence, or stillness, all of those things are a description of peace. And I suppose the question is, which one of those is most important to you personally in your own situation? Now, I'm just going to share my screen for a minute. Uh, where are we? Here we are. Just going to share it for a second and start that from the beginning. There we go. So, one of the things that um, we often see in terms of peace are a variety of different symbols that represent peace. And I just want to show you a few of those at the moment. So um, in the Bible, quite regularly, there are uh, images of doves that symbolise peace and also images of olive branches. So both of those symbols of peace come from the Bible and they come from the story of Noah, because after the rain had stopped in that story, Noah sent a dove to bring a sign that the flood was over. The dove came back with an olive branch, which meant the world was no longer covered in water, so there would be dry land to live on. So that's an important symbol of peace. Next one here is this is the CND symbol. Uh, CND stands for the Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament. And the, it's an organization that's been campaigning against the development of nuclear weapons since the late 1950s. Many people felt that nuclear weapons and the testing that went along with them was so dangerous that they wanted to have their development stopped. And the CND sign has become one of the best known peace symbols of our time. And then finally, um, this, is, this one is the victory hand. Um, and historians think that this sign was possibly used by the winners of chariot races in Roman times. The victory hand was a symbol of peace, particularly during the Second World War. Um, and it's still used every now and again in different places. The question is, what would your symbol for peace be? What would you do to represent peace? Well, I'll tell you what the church does to symbolise peace. Um, the church, um, as part of their Eucharist, um, when they have it in church, their communion, um, Christians will, not at the moment because of the pandemic, but will shake each other by the hand and say to each other, peace be with you. And I think that is a really strong symbol of peace, because what we're actually saying is that I want to be peaceful with you 
and you want to be peaceful with me. And that's a really important thing. It goes alongside the St. Nick's motto, love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's what we want to achieve. So I want us to, to try and think about peace um, at the moment and to, to, to think about what we could do to make, do our little bit for, to make to contribute towards peace around the world. Maybe, perhaps, you could just try and listen that little bit harder to someone who's got a different opinion to you. Maybe you could walk away when you feel angry with someone. All sorts of small things that we could do to contribute to the peace of the world. And it might seem that not having an argument with someone won't do very much. But if everybody did that, then the world would be a much happier place, wouldn't it? I'm going to say a prayer now. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for giving us the ability to make others feel better. Help us to share our lives together in peace, to love and care for those who need us, to care for our family and friends, and to play our parts in encouraging peace in the world. Amen. I'm just going to play a song now, Peace, Perfect Peace. And just while I play it, um, I'd like everyone just to have a moment of peace, just to um, think about what peace means to them and to try and do, think about what you could do to do your small part to bring peace to the world. And I think, I don't think I've shared the music, so I'm just gonna stop sharing. Sorry, that wasn't very peaceful. I'm gonna try sharing again with the sound this time. Here we go. And sound seems very quiet to me, so I'm trying to turn it up. Peace, perfect peace, is the gift of Christ alone. Oops, so it would be. All right, I'm going to start it again, and hopefully this time we'll actually have some sound. stop sharing there I'm going to just move the candle out of the way and just blow it out because what I'm going to do now is move on to our shout out box which you can see appearing on the screen there so we've got a few shout outs in here this week not too many um I think because we're just coming back after a little time out so really good if people start to think about what shout outs they could do for others making sure it's a really good and positive one Let's see what shout outs we've got here. So this one's to the whole of the school, especially to Clara, Jack, Maddie, um, and Georgie C. To the teachers, we respect the work you do to help us. Two special teachers, are Mrs. Herbman and Mrs. Points. That's a really lovely one. And I've got a shout out to Johnny C in 5S for making me smile. My next one, I've got, I wanna give a shout out to Mariella for making me laugh and being really kind all the time and never having a frown on her face. It's always a smile. It's a lovely one. Next one I've got. This shout out is for Kruthi because she made some fun games to play and she was kind and supportive. My next one. This shout out is for Chloe because she was really funny and kind. Next one here. Shout out for Kruthi for being a great, supportive and caring friend. My next one here. 
A shout out to Deeksha for being a great friend. I've got two more. Another shout out for Deeksha for being the best friend I could ever have. And finally, a shout out for Ella because she's kind. Okay, that's really lovely. Right, what I'm going to do now, don't, don't forget to put some more shout outs in the box for next week. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pause here and you will see me in a minute in the library with hopefully the team captain so that we can do our um, team points for this week. Okay, so here I am now with the team captains. We're about to announce the uh, team points for this week. Uh, I've got the cup here ready to go. It's the first time we've done this for some time. And I know there were some team points that had built up before um, people went into lockdown and everything. So it's a, an unusual week this week. So we've got some very high numbers here this week. So first of all, in fourth place with 329 team points was the blue team. Congratulations, Blues. In, by the way, we've got an audience here of some uh, of uh, success with us as well. So uh, in third place with 400 team points, was the red team. Congratulations, Red. That means it is between green and yellow. One of those teams had 438 team points. The other one had an amazing 666 team points. So our winning team this week with 666 is the yellow team. Congratulations, Red. Can I just say, I really love the way that all of our team captains, whichever team they are, um, congratulate every team. So thank you to all of you. So that's the end of my assembly now. And um, have a lovely week at school. Thanks.